Okay, let's go ahead and solve this logarithmic equation. So we have log base 9, uh, 2x minus 1 is equal to 2, and obviously I'm going to be solving this here in a second, but if you're studying logarithms, uh, you're probably beyond algebra 1 level. Okay, typically uh, your first year algebra courses, you're not going to see logarithms. And I'm saying typically, sometimes you can kind of be introduced to them, but uh, this is probably more appropriate for someone who's in algebra 2 maybe college algebra or intermediate algebra or pre-calculus. There's a lot of different names. Now, basically, all these courses are like second-year algebra type courses. So uh, if you're studying logarithms, that's excellent. That means that you're continuing on with your math education, and that's awesome. But um, logarithms are critically important, and you definitely need to know how to deal with them. Now, this particular problem, if you want to try it, I'll give you a hint. Uh, you don't need to use your calculator. So some of you might be like, wait, what are you talking about? You know, I don't need to use my calculator. Doesn't it have an LOG here? And, you know, don't I have to use that LOG button on my calculator? Well, not in this problem. But uh, so if you're thinking about trying to solve it, you know, just go ahead and put your calculator away. You don't need that. But what you do need, okay, is math knowledge, okay? You need to know math in order to solve this problem. So I'm going to review all the basic concepts that you need to know to solve this particular equation. Of course, I'm going to solve it here in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I am the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. You can uh, find a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2. I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here shortly. But uh, I also have many, many uh, courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're studying for the GED, HiSET, TASC, uh, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, um, ACCUPLACER, Alex, uh, maybe the CLEP exam, maybe uh, the SAT, ACT, a teacher certification exam like the Praxis exam, or nursing entrance like the TEAS, I have um, specialty test prep uh, math courses for all those particular exams, okay? So you don't have to struggle by trying to review and learn math on your own. Just go to my site, check out my full uh, course catalog. I should have your exam. If I don't, drop me a line and I'll help you out the best I can. Um, also, I do a lot with independent learners like homeschoolers. I have a great homeschool learning system. And then uh, obviously help those of you who are struggling in your current math class. But uh, one thing I can't do for you that you must do for yourself, and that is the following. That is note-taking. Okay, Over decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me. Those students who pay attention and take fantastic great notes almost always uh, do very well in mathematics. And then the reverse is true. Those students who like to look at their cell phone, uh, talk to their best friends, and do their homework for another class. And, uh, you know, uh, so many out there are going to be like, yes, I do this, I do that. You know, I'm not trying to make you feel bad because I did all those things except uh, the cell phone part way back in the 1980s. That was an awesome decade. And believe me, I was uh, distracted enough. If I had a cell phone, I probably may not even have graduated high school. So I get uh, that you're completely distracted. There's a lot of things pulling at your attention, but here's the deal. Uh, you still have to learn how to focus. Focus is the key to success. Okay. If you can focus and you can stay engaged, everything else is going to go very well for you. Okay. And if you are distracted, things are going to go bad for you. Right? I'm just telling you the honest truth. So Work on your note-taking, okay? And you can only improve on your note-taking if you're improving your focus, okay? Now, in the meantime, you still need something to study from, so I uh, offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in the description of this video. Okay, let's get to this problem here. Now, if you think you know how to do it, I would certainly pause the video and Go ahead and see what you can do. Again, you don't need your calculator for this problem. Okay, so let's talk about logarithms real quick. So when I teach logarithms, I love teaching logarithms because I use this little uh, phrase called bacon and eggs. Bacon and eggs. And now some of you are like, what is this guy talking about? 
He's talking about bacon and eggs. Maybe he's hungry and he's making this video uh, around breakfast time. No, I mean, I mean, listen, if somebody gave me some bacon and eggs right now, like at a Denny's, uh, like lunch or something or breakfast, I would be all for it. But that's not what I'm talking about. That's just a little mnemonic, a little uh, saying to remember uh, about logarithms. So here we have log BAE. Okay. Now this is where the bacon and eggs part comes in. So the B, okay, I want you to remember as bacon, the A is uh, and, and then the E is egg. So B, A, E. So log B, A, E. So this is the form right here of a logarithm. Okay. So if I have log uh, 2, 8 equals uh, 3, okay, this is the format, right? This is the B, A, and E. But what does this stand for? Well, the B here is the base, okay? A is the answer, and E is the exponent. So when we have a logarithm, okay, any logarithm, it's going to be in the form of log its base. The answer is equal to the exponent. So you can rewrite this, okay, when we're talking about a power, a power has a base to a little exponent, and that's going to be our answer. So let's take a look at this guy right here, this example. Log base 2, 8 is equal to 3. So what's our base? Our base is 2. Okay. What's our exponent? Our exponent is 3. Okay. And 2 cubed, which is 2 times 2 times 2, that's equal to 8. And that's our answer. Okay. So, uh, so what do we have here? Well, logarithms have something to do with exponential uh, functions. Okay. Matter of fact, there are, are the a logarithm and exponential functions are inverses of one another. So logs and exponential functions again are inverses. So when you're dealing with an exponential equation, okay, we use logarithms, and we have a logarithmic equation, we use exponents. So this is the basic relationship that uh, hopefully you uh, you know you already understand. But if you don't. Hopefully, I made a big impact on your memory with this bacon and eggs. Remember that, okay? This is a great little mnemonic, and uh, using little phrases and sayings, all this stuff really does help in mathematics. Okay, so just a quick review about logarithms and their uh, exponential um, uh, function equivalents. Okay, so now let's get to this problem. So as I said, okay, if you're dealing with a logarithmic equation, we want to be thinking exponential functions. So what we want to do is write this thing here as a power. Okay, so how can I do that? Well, this is log base 9, okay? Uh, 2x minus 1 is the answer. Remember, bacon and eggs. So this is 9 is the base. 2 is the exponent. So this is 9 squared. And that's going to be equal to the answer 2x minus 1. So basically, I'm rewriting this log as a power okay, or a uh, power equation. So it's going to be 9 squared is equal to 2x minus 1. And hopefully, you have the basic algebra skills to solve this. Let's go ahead and solve this now. All right. So 9 squared is, of course, 81. Then we'll put that over here. And then we'll, we'll put our 2x minus 1 on the left-hand side. And now we're off to the races. We'll just solve this basic equation. I'm going to add 1 to both sides of the equation here. So I get 2x is equal to 82. Divide both sides of the equation by 2. And I get x is equal to 41. And I'm all done. Okay? It's as easy as that. Remember, I told you no calculator, no need for a log button. What we need here is an understanding of logarithms. Okay? Uh, knowledge is power. All right? Now, if you got this problem right, then I must give you a happy face with a little mohawk, an A+, plus, and I'll give you 100% and one star. This was not a difficult problem. However, um, in terms of logarithmic equations, there's much more sophisticated uh, equations beyond this. But this is a good start. Okay? Show me that you know about logarithms and how to rewrite them as powers. That's the key. Okay, That is the key uh, in terms of dealing with logarithms and exponential equations. So... Um, again, feel free to write this down in your notes, this little bacon and eggs and all this kind of good stuff. Um, if you're really struggling, struggling in uh, logarithms or with logarithms, then I'm going to recommend that, uh, uh, well, a couple of things. Uh, one, I have uh, plenty of other uh, videos in my YouTube channel 
in my Algebra 2 pre-calculus uh, playlist on logarithms, so you definitely uh, check those out. But uh, you might want to check out my like my college algebra or my Algebra 2 course as well. I, I uh, really thoroughly teach logarithms. But uh, whatever you do, don't uh, just watch someone like, like don't watch this video and be like, okay, I understand that, but you don't actually do uh, the practice. Like you don't actually, uh, if you're not doing the work, I guess that's the way I'm trying to say, uh, watching someone do math is not the same thing as you learning math. It's deceiving because you're, you're watching me and you're like, okay, I get what he's saying. And then like, okay, I'm going to move on with my day. No, it doesn't work that way. What you should try to do is do this problem all on your own, you know, later on and see if you can get it right. That's the practice is the only way you're going to get better at math. Okay. So if this video helps you out in some way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have a thousand plus videos on my channel. I'm posting stuff all the time. My goal, my passion is to teach math in a clear and understandable way. No one should be failing math. Okay. If you're struggling in math, it's because you're probably not taking great math notes. You're probably not uh, going to your teacher, you know, just forcing them to give you as much help. And if you can't get the help you need from your teacher, there's plenty of things out there uh, that are, you know, resources like YouTube. You know, if you like my teaching style, there's a ton you can learn from me or, uh, you know, my math help program. But find something that's going to work for you, right? Take the initiative. And again, no one should be failing math. And my job is to uh, help you you know, resolve any misunderstandings that you might have. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.